Hey guys, welcome to Rich Codes. This is my brand new YouTube channel highlighting what it's like to be African American in the analytical profession. One of the things I noticed when I decided to put this channel together was there's not a lot of African Americans within the analytical space. And I wondered why. Why don't more of us go for positions in analytics? That got me to thinking. So I searched YouTube trying to find someone who looks like me that's actually in analytics to see what they had to say. Through my research, I didn't find one video of someone who was actually in the analytical space or a business intelligence analyst like myself that was telling others about this position. And that's what I want to highlight today. I feel that the reason that there may not be a lot of, a lot of African Americans within the analytical space is because we don't even know the positions exist. Um, and how can you prepare for something if you don't even know that it's actually a position? So that's my goal for this channel, is to bring awareness to the analytical positions uh, all over and really highlight why I think this is an amazing profession for anyone, but especially African Americans, to take a hard look at. So to begin with, I actually want to give you guys my story. Um, I want to let, the reason I want to tell my story is because I want to let you guys know it doesn't take you being a genius to actually work in the analytical space. You just have to want it. Uh, you just have to want it bad enough and work hard enough and you'll actually achieve it. So my story, I grew up in a very poor neighborhood uh, in Miami. Uh, I grew up in the projects and I feel that my family did the best that they could do. Um, but there wasn't a strong support system for education. Um, there was no one who looked like me or anyone I could see uh, near me that actually pursued higher education and pursued a higher education to, to actually go into this, this field. Um, I actually didn't learn about an analytical position until I was about 30 years old. That goes to show that you, know, you don't actually learn about these cool professions while you're going through high school or even anywhere out in the real world, someone's talking about, hey, this is what I do as an analyst, and it may be a great thing for you to do as well. Um, so as, as I was growing up, you know, there was something that I actually wanted to be, um, and I actually was in my medical magnet high school program to go into the medical field. However, after four years of uh, high school, I quickly found that that wasn't for me and decided that I wanted to go another route. Um, I started working at 16 years old and was pretty good at retail. So I was, decided to pursue a career in retail. I was moving up pretty quickly and I thought, hey, why not you know, go this route? Um, but after about 10 years of working in the retail space, I definitely found out it was not for me. Um, and at the age of 30, I decided to go back to school and pursue uh, higher education. Uh, it took me four and a half years to receive my master's degree. So I have a master's in business administration and data analytics. And that master's opened a lot of doors for me in analytics. But you may be saying, well, how did you even know about the analytical field when you say you didn't find out till 30? Great question. So as I went back to school, I actually did my undergrad in management and organizational leadership. Um, but I worked for, as I said, an amazing company. And one of the things about my company is they expose you to a lot of positions you wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily know about unless you kind of did the research or really looked on their forums to see what others did. Um, so what I decided to do after I finished my bachelor's degree was take a look at the different positions that are actually within my company. And a couple of them were, were standing out. Um, analytics especially. Um, I really love the idea of writing SQL code. Uh, I think it's pretty amazing when anyone can write any kind of code. Um, so that piqued my interest. And I saw two positions within my company. One was called a business intelligence analyst. The other was a decision science analyst. Now there are other professions within the analytical space that we're going to talk about later in future videos. But those are two I want to highlight uh, today because those are two that I was actually looking into. 
um, the BIA, which Business Intelligence Islands role, came up, and I applied because I noticed that I met all of the criteria through pursuing my master's degree at uh, the university I was attending. Uh, through there, I got an interview. You know, as they say, the rest is history, and I became a business intelligence analyst. Uh, through working in this realm, um, I noticed that it's a pretty cool job. Um, I really love what I do. I love going to work every day. Uh, it does give me the flexibility to work from home. So before Corona actually happened, I was already working from home, so I'm pretty used to that. Um, but I love that flexibility of being able to do my job from anywhere, actually. So I could just pop open a laptop and actually do my job from anywhere in the world. So it does give me that kind of flexibility that I had no idea that I actually had until I got into the role. Um, another thing, as I said, I love writing SQL code. Uh, it can be very challenging when you're writing SQL code for data, but I love the challenging aspect of writing SQL code. And I also love Tableau. Tableau is a software uh, that we use to create data visualizations. So within my company, I create dashboards for executive leadership to use to make future business decisions or current business decisions. Uh, so they rely on the data that I actually put on the dashboard to make these decisions, which is pretty cool, guys. Um, could you imagine maybe anywhere from 10 to 100 people in a company using a dashboard that you actually created? Uh, you guys are in luck. In future videos, I'm definitely going to show you how I write that SQL code or, or use that SQL code uh, in order to develop these really cool and elaborate dashboards. Uh, I think you guys are going to be amazed by that. But for the initial video, I just want to highlight why I believe as an African-American person, you would definitely love this industry. Now, don't get me wrong. Definitely is not a large percentage of African-Americans in the analytical uh, space. And that's what I'm hoping to change with this YouTube channel. I want to be able to answer any of the questions you guys may have. Uh, definitely tell you more in depth about the the roles of data decision science analysts and business intelligence analysts as starter positions and then we'll probably go into the higher realms uh, the higher data positions uh, like data scientists lead analysts quantum analysts uh, there are many different types of analyst positions you could actually take a look at but I thought it was very important to create a video where others who may have questions who look like me um, would definitely be able to reach out and ask those questions and I can create videos for you guys. I also want to highlight um, how this position allows me to do some pretty cool things. So in the future, you guys are going to see some pretty cool videos coming out for me from different places. I uh, may travel a little bit and show you guys what I do, uh, but I think it's very important to bring awareness to the analytical field for African Americans and minorities. Definitely, I'm not trying to leave out any other races here. Um, it's just that there's such a low percentage in the field and I want to bring excitement to these positions. I want to let everyone know, uh, don't shy away from math, statistics, sciences. Um, you can do it. Um, definitely, I'm going to give you guys in the future my complete starter story from high school all the way up to college. Uh, it'll definitely highlight why I believe that nearly anyone could do this job. And I definitely want to show you guys that an African American person who looks like you, everyday hard worker, um, has gotten into this field, been very successful at it, and you too can be successful at it as well. So feel free to like, comment, Subscribe, guys. Uh, tell me what kind of content you want to see. Tell me things you want to talk about. Um, I'm definitely open to it. I just want to be that person that you guys can actually come to and, have, and ask any questions that you may have about analytics, about positions in analytics, and what my experience is like as an African-American person in analytics. Thank you, guys, and see you soon.